जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज अतमारा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व सम सम्स ऑन डिविजन लेट्स सॉल्व द सम्स वेर वी विल गेट टू डिजिट क्वेश्चन 505 डिवाइडेड बाय 6 नाउ चेक द फर्स्ट डिजिट दैट इज 5 व्हिच इज स्मॉलर देन 6 सो वी हैव वी हैव टू कंसीडर टू डिजिट्स देयर सो 5 एंड 0 50 Now let's check is 50 come in uh, six table or not? So it's not. So less than 50, which number comes in six table? So six is a 48. Now 50 minus 48 is two. Now take the next digit down. So 25. Is 25 comes in six table? No. So less than 25. 24 comes in six table. So six four is a 24. 24 minus 25 minus 24 is equals to 1. So here 84 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. So therefore we will write quotient equal to 84 and remainder equals to 1. Let's solve one more sum. 597 divided by 7. Again, 7 is a 56. We will divide first two digits because Five is smaller than seven, so we have to consider two digits. Now, fifty-nine minus fifty-six is three. Take the next digit down, thirty-seven. So the next is seven five is thirty-five. Thirty-seven minus thirty-five is equals to two. So here, eighty-five is the quotient, and two is the remainder. So therefore, we will write quotient is equals to eighty-five. Remainder is equals to two. Now let's solve some sums where we will get a three-digit quotient. So here, seven hundred and fifty-nine divided by four. Four ones are four. Seven minus four is three. Now take the take the next digit down. That is five. So four eights are thirty-two. Thirty-five minus thirty-two is three. Now take the next digit down. That is nine. So the number will become thirty-nine. So four nines are thirty-six. Thirty-nine minus thirty-six is three. Here one hundred and eighty-nine is our quotient, and three is our remainder. So here the quotient is one hundred and eighty-nine, and remainder is three. Let's solve one more sum. Eight hundred and twenty-four divided by six. Six ones are six. Eight minus six is two. Take the next digit down. Twenty-two. So six three is eighteen. Twenty-two minus eighteen is four. Take the next digit down. Six seven is forty-two. Forty-four minus forty-two is two. So here one hundred and thirty-seven is our quotient, and two is our remainder. So therefore, we will write quotient is equal to 137 and remainder equals to 2 now let's see some sums where zero is in the quotient 241 divided by 4 so again we will take here the first digit which is 2 and it is smaller than 4 so we will consider two digits so 24 so 4 six are 24 24 minus 24 is 0. Now the next step is take next digit down. That is one we will take down. Now check is one coming comes in four table? No, it's not. But once we have taken a digit down, we have to divide it. So we will divide it like this. Four zeros are zero. So one minus zero is one. Now here. 60 is our quotient and 1 is our remainder. So therefore, we will write quotient is equals to 60 and remainder equals to 1. Let's solve one more sum. 645 divided by 6. Six ones are six. Six minus six zero. Take the next digit down. Now four. We can't take two digits at a time down. We have to take one digit at a time. So 
4 doesn't come in 6 table. So we will do in this way 6 0 are 0. Now 4 minus 0 is 4. Now take the next digit down that is 5 will take down. Now here 6 7 are 42. 45 minus 42 is 3. So here 107 is our quotient and 3 is our remainder. Therefore quotient equals to 107 remainder equals to 3. Let's solve one more sum. 300 divided by 2. So 2 ones are 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Take next digit down. So 0 will take down. It will become 10. 2 5s are 10. 10 minus 10, 0. The next digit is 0. So we will take 0 down. Once we have taken down, then we need to divide it. So 2 zeros are 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now there is no digit to take down, so we will stop there. So therefore, here 150 is our quotient and 0 is our remainder. So we will write quotient is equal to 150 and remainder equals to 0. This way we can solve division sums. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel.